Hi, my name is Bjorn, application specialist at Vermeer EMEA. Today I'm standing here with our D40 by 55 DR Series 3. I'm going to show you today some basic instructions how to activate the inner rotation on the dual rod and how to switch from dual rod to single rod. Let's go. I'm going to show you now how to start the inner rotation on the D40 by 55 dual rod Series 3. Start the drill according to the starting procedure, which is explained in the operator's manual and enable the hydraulics. Check if the thrust pullback selection is set in thrust mode. Turn on the inner rotation by using the trigger on the left joystick. Now the inner rotation gauge on your screen will highlight purple. You can now set the inner rotation speed with the dial controller. The speed is now shown on your screen in percentage. The inner subsaver will now rotate if the thrust pullback selection is set in thrust mode, the front visor is opened and the mud pump is enabled. Now the inner rotation speed is also displayed in RPM on your screen. The moment you close the front vise or disable the mud pump, the inner rotation will stop. When you open the front vise and enable the mud pump, the inner rotation will restart automatically. To add drill rods to the drill string, make sure that the thrust pullback selection is set in thrust mode. Close the front vise and disconnect the subsaver by rotating the subsaver counterclockwise. Keep rotating until the subsaver is fully unthreaded from the drill rod to avoid a force breakout. Any connection you make, you need to ensure that the gearbox is in the float zone. This to avoid force breakouts or false pressure readings during makeup or breakout. After disconnecting the subsaver from the drill rod, move the carriage to the back of the rack until it stops at the end of the rack. Don't forget to grease the subsaver during this operation. The subsaver will stop automatically in front of the vise to apply grease if the greaser setting is set on auto grease. Extract a rod out of the rod box and bring it in position to connect it to the drill string and grease the box end. Start rotating the subsaver clockwise around 20 rpm and slowly move forward the carriage to connect the subsaver with the outer rod. Start rotating the subsaver clockwise around 20 rpm and slowly move forward the carriage to connect the subsaver with the outer rod. When the rod is connected to the subsaver, you can move the rod forward to connect with the drill string. There is an automatic stop point so that you will not damage the thread when moving forward during the makeup of the subsaver and the drill rod. At this point, you can remove your rod loader arms from the drill rod. Bring the thrust pullback joystick to neutral and start moving the carriage forward again. While rotating the outer rod clockwise, you bring together the threads in the same way as the upper connection. Start rotating at 20 rpm. After some rotations, you can speed up and close the connection with low rpm. Tighten the connection with maximum maker pressure. If the maximum maker pressure isn't achieved, the front vise will not open. If this happens, break the connection with the upper vise and tighten again. When you start pulling back, don't forget to change the thrust pullback selection into pullback mode. Now we can pull back the drill rod until the joint is in the middle of the two vices. Now close the front vise, the upper vise and break the connection by rotating the upper vise. When you open the upper vise, it will rotate automatically back. Start unthreading the connection by rotating the outer rod counterclockwise. Pull back the drill rod once the connection is fully unthreaded until it stops automatically. The upper vise will slide up the rack automatically as well. Check if the box end of the drill rod is between the end of the upper vise and the beginning of the vise die. Now you can extract the rod loader arms. Now close the upper vise again and rotate the subsaver counterclockwise to break the upper joint. Keep rotating until the connection is fully unthreaded. Once the connection is fully broken, you can move the carriage to the back of the rack until it stops. Open the upper vise and the vise will automatically slide down the rack. Now you can stow away the rod into the rod box. Move the carriage forward until it stops in front of the vise to grease the subsaver. The carriage will only stop if the greaser setting is set on auto grease. Start rotating the subsaver clockwise and move forward to connect to the drill string. 
Also here you start with the low rotation around 20 RPM. In the middle you can speed up again, but you close the connection also with a lower RPM. Also this time you need to achieve the maximum makeup pressure to open the front vise. In dual rod mode, the outer rotation speed and the inner rotation speed can be set separately. I'm going to show you now how to change from dual rod to single rod. Open the menu, go to drill setup, go to the gearbox tab, and here you will see the tab dirt mode. Select dirt mode and enable dirt mode. Now the inner rod will rotate simultaneously with the outer rod. Read the operator's manual, maintenance manual and our service manual for further instructions and safety instructions.